Hello everyone and welcome to the Be Brilliant Everyday Show. More people and businesses are transforming and inspiring their local community and people around the world to lead better lives and make more money. On this show, we sit down with these brilliant people to discuss their ideas, strategies and the opportunities they're taking advantage of so the rest of us can do the same. Please welcome your host for today, Simak Konkada. Today we're talking about retail and commercial banking with Adam Durant. Adam is an expert in his field. He's been in the banking industry for the past 22 years, 12 years at HSBC and Correct. 10 years at Metro Bank. Indeed, very nearly. Excellent. And Adam is a Liverpool fan. He loves Liverpool. And he also does a lot of local work for charities and young uh, students locally up there. Yes. Welcome to the show, Adam. Thank you, Simak. Thank you for having me. So how did you get started, Adam? Uh, both at Metro Bank as well in your banking career? Uh, so I'll start with the banking career because that was very nearly 22 years ago. So 17th of July, year 2000, uh, I left education and almost fell into HSBC. Um, and funny story really, I was sat in a sixth form common room, not really knowing where my career was going to go, or what I wanted to do. I definitely knew university wasn't quite right for me. Mm-hmm. Started banking, saw an advert in the local paper and joined a HSBC management training programme. Um, so did loads and loads of roles there, every role in the banking sector you can imagine, from cashier to advisor and so on. Spent 12 wonderful years there, um, last role was in, in head office for HSBC right. and thought now's the time to make a change. And Metro Bank were coming onto the scene two years earlier, okay. um, so that was 2010, and then September 2012 I joined Metro Bank as a store manager based in High Wycombe, mm-hmm. uh, and very nearly, well September this year will be 10 years within the business and a number of different roles been lucky enough to move around, and now in the commercial business banking space. Fantastic, and you're the local director for this branch? I'm the local director based here in Harrow, um, very much working with the local community in every way I can. Absolutely, I love this branch, I come here quite often, so yeah. And who, influ- who influenced you to get into this field? Uh, interesting, really, no one influenced me to do it. I've got some family that worked in banking, uh, uncle worked for HSBC and right. private banking for a while, but no one really influenced me to do it. Mm-hmm. And to be honest, at school I never thought banking's a career for me. Right. I wanted to go and earn some money, I'd earn money any way I could from a young age, paper rounds, do anything I could find and earn a few pounds. And then when I saw this the headline of this advert in the local paper that said can't decide to go to university or start work, right. that summed me up perfectly. Okay. The bank, the HSBC at the time, put me through some education, put me through banking degrees and so on and continued to do it. Yeah. And then 22 years later, it doesn't feel like that long, but I've moved around jobs very, very um, frequently, had loads of exposure to different areas and sectors, and I've enjoyed every single second, which is exactly why I'm still doing the same sector today, but a very, very different role. Excellent. And. Uh What's your opinion on competition when it comes to banking? Good question. Competition is the reason Metro Bank are here. Right. We launched, uh, Metro Bank launched in July 2010. Uh-huh. Holborn was store number one. Okay. The first new bank to the UK market for 120 years roughly. Right. Nobody really knows because the records don't go back far enough. Uh-huh. So the reason the model was bought from the US, which is what it's based on, to the UK is around customers and convenience. And if you notice the store in Harrow here, all of our stores across our 79 store network are based where the competition are, because competition is healthy, right? As a business owner, as an individual that needs a bank account, you want to have choice. If you want to buy anything, you click on our phone and you can see a million providers of said product. Everything shouldn't be any different. Back in 2010 and before that, we could probably count on one hand how many choices of a bank account provider I could have. Fast forward to 2022, with ourselves and many other fintechs that are out there and other banks, it gives you as a business owner, me as a consumer, loads more choice. So competition is healthy, competition should continue, it keeps us on our toes and it keeps the customer having lots of choices to how to do their banking in this case, but any other service or product you're looking to buy. Excellent. And uh, what I've noticed right now, the general trend on the high street is a lot of banks are closing down their local branches. While Metro Bank is doing the opposite, you're like kind of zagging while the others are zigging. Yeah, know. very true. Yeah, 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 very true. Look, we have a very different challenge. Back in 2010, we didn't exist. No one, we didn't have a store, we didn't have an online presence, we didn't have a single customer. We're now very, very lucky to look after nearly 3 million customers. We take that with great pride and all that. Mm-hmm. Um, but we have a different challenge we're trying to overcome. Other banks have equally different challenges. Actually, they've absorb the network possibly. We all know that in the last couple of years our buying and spending habits have changed yes. so we don't maybe come to the high street as much as we used to. So we have to adapt. 
and we want to grow into the communities around the UK. As I say, launching in Leicester very recently is a brand new market for us. We right. have a lot of customers based there, but they would travel quite a distance to a local Metro Bank store. Now we've put one in the heart of Leicester, they can come and visit us. Other banks don't have that challenge, they have to think very differently right. and changes accordingly, but we have a different problem and we're, we're going about it a very, very different way. And when it comes to having a physical presence, what's the strategy? I've noticed that, and correct me if I'm wrong, but most of the bank, your branches are in the high street. Yes. Like yeah. This one is in the corner of Harrow. Correct. Yeah. yeah, most of them are on the high street. We do have quite a few that are drive through so they're in a retail park as right. well. So we've got um, three drive through stores now. Mm -hmm. And they're based near motorways, they're in retail parks, where again, it's based on the bank's model, which is convenience for our customers. If you've got children in the car, which I've got three young right. children, rather than parking up, getting them all unstrapped into the store to pay a check-in or go and do something, I can drive through, open my window, pay the check-in, and I'm good to go. So most of our stores are in the high street. Okay. Myself as a local director, I can then have a presence in Harrow, work with the local Harrow bid, the business improvement district, mm -hmm. work with local business professional owners and business owners, and very much be part of the Harrow community. All of our locations have the same ethos. We want to give back mm -hmm. because we're there for our customers locally, we're there for the charities and businesses locally, and we get involved in many, many different ways. Yeah. Another thing is, children love coming to your bank. What's the main drive of uh, attraction? Yeah, so we have um, quite a few different attractions really. We, right. we have a money zone program, okay. which is about financial education. Mm -hmm. So my team here in Harrow, likewise all the other locations we have, we go into local primary schools and in the key stage two ethos or right. all the program that they run, we deliver the financial part of that. So we've developed a whole brochure, a program, we go into the classroom on three occasions. We okay. run a class where the teachers put their feet up, which is rare because teachers work incredibly hard. And my team will run an hour lesson with the students around budgeting, where they spend their money, what does right. interest mean. Okay. And we, we make it fun and engaging and we bring it to life for them. The fourth part of that program is the, sh the children come into the store here. Right. So they walk in, we had a, a group of 30 kids are here on Monday, Friday we had two groups of 30. We take them into the vault. We take the lid off our card printing machine and they can see a card being printed. Wow. We take them behind the counter. We really bring what we've taught them in the classroom to life by visiting the store here at Metro Bank and all of our locations do it. So the nature of that is when they then go and shopping on a weekend with mum and dad, they say, I need to take you into yeah. Metro Bank yeah. to see what I saw. So then the children are talking about, I've learned this around financial services, whatever it might be. Right. They then bring the, the parents in. We also have something called a magic money machine. I don't know if you've used this in Mac at all. No, I mean, I'm kind of too small for that. But <laughs> <laughs> well, businesses use it as well. So yeah, if you're doing a, a collection for charity, you've got some loose change, instead of having to bag it up and individually, separate coins, whatever it may be, and then queue at the counter to pay it in, right, okay. children can come in and pay their pocket money in. They can play a game and guess how much is there. If they get it right, they'll win a prize, and we change that prize every month. We then encourage them to pay into their savings bank account, so we encourage them to save. Right. And we then reward them through our what we call our five for five club. So every fifth month, we uh -huh. give them another five pounds to say, well done, you've consistently saved, keep going. Yes. And that's an incentive to do it. Colouring books, coffee, tea, orange juice, whatever it might be, these are the things that are given for us because if mum and dad are in the store, or grandparents are in the store, sure. aunts and uncles in the store, yeah. Keep the children happy and entertained, and then mum and dad can do what they need to do. Excellent. I mean, I'm sure you might be getting a lot of kids coming through. We do, we do, and we love it. More yeah, the merrier. And uh, just flipping back to a more kind of serious topic now yeah. energy crisis. What is uh, Metro Bank doing both for individuals and companies? Yeah, look, great question, and, and a hot topic for all of yeah. us as individuals, as you say, and companies as well. So, in the nicest sense, probably no different to what we continue to do all the time. So. We have to, we take great pride in looking after our customers. As I mentioned earlier, we've yeah. got the best part of 3 million customers now. So we fully appreciate through COVID, pre-COVID and certainly post-COVID, there are challenges with finances, whether you're running a business or, or your own budget for the, the salaries that you've got coming in. So we talk to our customers, we make ourselves approachable and contactable because mm -hmm. understanding the challenges they have puts us in a better position to help them. Right. So we connect all, all channels that we have within Metro Bank. So if you're a customer of ours and you phone one of our contact centres, Amaze Direct as we call them, mm -hmm. 10 o'clock in the evening to maybe inquire about a balance, right. we would record that. So if that same customer then comes in the following day and says, I also need to check something else, we can connect all the channels that customers interacting with us and it will give us a sign of actually, Adam as a customer might be concerned about a certain thing. Right, okay. What we then do with our colleagues in our stores, our colleagues in our Amaze Direct Centres, anybody that interacts with a customer, mm -hmm. we constantly train them to look out for certain things that maybe a customer needs some help on that they may not realise. 
So linking that back to the energy crisis, clearly it's the cost of that is increasing significantly. As much as I would love to, I'm sure you would as well, we can't control that. Correct. We can support customers to educate them as to how to manage their budgeting, their finances. If there's a borrowing need there, make sure they're doing it properly, right. but really making sure we give them access to and be approachable as their bankers to look after both their business and personal. Excellent, excellent. That's good to know. So you're helping both uh, individuals on the personal side as well as the businesses. Absolutely, well. yeah. So tell me this, what are the top three reasons clients love to bank with Metro? Good question, and we always ask our customers the same. We're right, constantly okay. sending them a survey to say, please give us some feedback because we, we're told we're, we're, we're doing some things right, and there's a, a survey, the CMA survey, Competition Markets Authority, that survey banks every six months. Right. And we're very, very proud and pleased to know that the last six occasions we've come top of that for the service in the stores. Wow. So that's got to be one of them. Yeah. Customers are telling us, I like your convenience. Our opening hours of our stores are seven days a week. Mm -hmm. I generally open before other, other shops and banks are, and open later than they are as well. We've got a Jubilee weekend coming up. Okay. We're open the Thursday and the Friday, okay. and the Saturday and the Sunday. It's business as usual for us because we're in a world where people want things instantly, Correct. and banking should be no different. So the fact okay. it's a Sunday, and you've got both decision makers that might need to do something in the financial sector, they should be able to come and see Metro Bank, speak to us, or whatever it might be. So convenience is absolutely one of them. Okay. The people that we have is also a big part of it, and we stood behind a, yeah. a note here that talks about people, people banking. Very simply, the individuals you see in our advertising, our branding, our posters, are individuals that work in the business. Because okay. we want to relate to our customers, i.e. that's not someone that, that doesn't have any connection with the Metro Bank. This is a store manager, an assistant manager, and a maze director, contact centre manager. So it's the people behind the branding that are the people that look after you day in, day out. So convenience is the first one. The people yeah. that we employ to relate to our customers is the second. I think transparency has got to be the third. Right. We don't have anything that is gimmicky around new customers get this and old customers right. don't get that. Right. Everything we do is very transparent, no hidden costs, no hidden fees. We do what we know what we're very, very good at, and that's relationship banking, convenience for our customers, and we do that very well and very, very transparently. Fantastic. So Adam, you've been around for twenty two years, right? What's one lesson that your job has taught you, right? And that you know, you think everyone should learn at some point in their life? Yeah, I think I think my my job has taught me to be, do things that you enjoy. And what I mean by that is over the 22 year career, I've been lucky enough to do so many different roles. Right. Some that I've been okay at, some that I've been absolutely terrible at, but I thought that was a job I wanted. Okay. And the best example is, when I was coming up through various roles within my first or 12 year banking career, I want to go and work in head office. Uh -huh. The Canary Wharf flashing yeah. lights were attracting me, that would be the ideal scenario. I got there and I wasn't very good. I lost contact with customers directly. I lost contact with the team, the people around me that I support. As much as there were 10,000 plus people in that building, I never had that relationship and the team and, and, and that Connection. ethos around right. me. So I thought that was what I wanted because the title looked great. Mm -hmm. The reality of the day job was incredibly different. So okay. do what you enjoy. Mm -hmm. When you enjoy something, you're generally better at it, or when you're better at it, you enjoy it. So the two are hand in hand. So don't. Don't try and do or continue to do something you don't enjoy because it will be a very long day, week, and month if that's the case. Okay, interesting. interesting. And uh, what's the biggest challenging, a challenge you're facing in your role right now and what are you doing to tackle it? Good question. I mean, there are always different challenges. Any price, yeah. Energy prices is one that we referenced earlier. So enough time in the day is that. I think we are um, we're a very successful growing business that mm -hmm. is attracting many, many customers from the second we opened back in, in, in July 2010 to where we are today, mm -hmm. and that is only gathering pace. Whilst the high street is changing slightly, mm -hmm. the convenience and ability to contact us at Metro Bank is, is keeping the success going. Right. So I would love there to be more hours in a day, that would be great. Sure. I can't change that. Yeah. What we're doing to counteract that or, or combat it is making sure that we've got the right people in the right place and we upskill our colleagues. So we, we hire people for their attitude and we train the skill. That's an ethos okay. within Metro Bank. Okay. So that means if you show me the right work ethic and you love customers and are looking after people, we can train you everything else. So the better I make my team here, right. I will increase my capacity. That's it. So every day I will leave thinking, right, who have I helped improve what they could do today that they couldn't do yesterday? If I've achieved that, we're increasing capacity. And that's brilliant. And uh, what are the advantages of banking with Metro over any other bank? <laughs> Good question, and a question customers ask us all the time. Right, okay. So, and it's a really valid question because we right. talked about competition and choice in the market. The nature of that comes with, well, why should I move where I am mm -hmm. and come to you? And what I say to a lot of customers is, 
is, is something not working? And if they say it's working absolutely perfectly, I say, well, don't change it then. And you might think, well, that's odd, Adam. Why are you saying that? Well, mm -hmm. if it's working already and it does everything you need it to do, then fantastic. Do not change it. And that goes for banking and everything else. Quite often there'll be something that's okay. meant the customer, the individual, is either speaking to us in our store or speaking to me personally or someone's been recommended to come and speak to me. So understanding what that is right. would then allow me to say, right, so let's see how Metrobank would be slightly different. And goes back to what I talked about earlier, it's a point of contact. The most popular reason people say to me, you know why I love Metrobank? I know who I need to talk to. I've right. got your mobile number, you're there on a Sunday when I need you, you're there early morning, I can just contact you. And it may be just the simplest of questions reason and the purpose of contacting us means, and, and the ability to contact us, is the number one reason people love coming to see us. That's an interesting point, I mean it's been a continuous theme to this conversation. Yeah. So uh, tell me, uh, is that, uh, you see it, that trend with uh, non-millennials, uh, generally with millennials also, of uh, with senior citizens, you know? Yeah, uh, look, I, I think, to me I think it's across the board. I mean, right. millennials, I've got three young children, my right. eldest is 12. Mm -hmm. Everything is on her phone, TikTok, half of it I don't know, and I thought I was relatively mm -hmm. up to date with technology. So millennials want technology, mm -hmm. they want the best app, they want convenience, they want speed of service and response. Mm -hmm. And that's something we do incredibly well. At some point, whether you, whatever age you are, whatever stage right. in your life you are, you may want to eyeball somebody and say, I'd like to buy a property, I've never had a mortgage in my life, right. so talk me through it. Okay. Now, there's a time and a place for certain things. You may want to do that online in the comfort of your own home and, and just speak to the screen. That's absolutely fine. You can do that with us. You may want to sit down and have a cup of coffee in a quiet environment and ask those questions that you've been dying to ask and get a human response. Right. So I think we have to cater for both of those. Got it. So whilst you've got some of the fintechs out there, they're fantastic in what they do, Metrobank are catering for everybody. Look after our customers, give them the channels and technology that so if they choose how they bank, we're not dictating that, we give them the choice across the board. Fantastic, I, I get that. And also, I think coming out of COVID, the human touch now is, you know, people want that, they've been sitting behind, at home, behind the screens all along. So I think they cried out for it. I mean, even during COVID, we clearly saw a shift from our store network being really busy right. through to our telephone channel being really, really busy. And no doubt about it, we've seen more customers using online banking and the mobile banking app as well. Mm -hmm. So that still happens. But if I look at my store here in Harrow, we've had a consistent footfall. And then right. we have to think, how do we make sure that we've got the right people in the right places? So we move from a colleague working in our store network on a Monday to you need to go and sit and work in one of our contact centers because that's the channel customers are using. So if anything happens, God forbid, again, right. we've got the ability to be very flexible, but having a human contact on a phone, face-to-face, -face, mobile app, all of those channels need to work simultaneously, and that's what we're always driving to do. Fantastic. And now just uh, flipping back, uh, if, you know, with the gener uh, people wanting in to enter the banking industry. Yeah. Right. Uh, you've, you've been from the past 22 years. Yeah. Uh, the attraction may or may not uh, be there right now because a lot of banks have moved out because of Brexit and you've got all the other factors that are impacting yep. the economy right now. Uh, what's one of the key things to advice you would give to young uh, students or college grads coming out and if they want to join this line? Yeah, look, good question. I think banking over the 22 years I've been in the industry, or very nearly, mm -hmm. it's given me so much variation. Right. Literally, if I tried to name all of the different roles I've been mm -hmm. in, we'd be here for quite a while. And, right. and I take that as a great privilege and honor I've been able to do it because no two days are the same. Right. Even in the current position, it's very varied. And it, to a point, it goes back to what I said earlier. If I didn't enjoy a particular role, I would do something about it. I would change it. And the financial services sector, I think, allows you to do that. Right. You get people management, you get financial management, you get an understanding of all the products and services that we need as individuals as we go through our life. Mm -hmm. But you also get the line management responsibility, the mentoring capacity, right. the ability to go and work with local communities and young enterprise that you referenced earlier that I do. So right. I think the sector and the industry gives you absolute variety of life and the option to take your career as far as you want it to go. Um, the key bit for me has always been enjoy the job you do, know what your wish list is. Mm -hmm. So every job I do has a key five criteria that it must have, mm -hmm. a bit like buying a house. If you want okay. to buy a house, you need to have minimum bedrooms, whatever it might be. Right. The jobs that I do have that. So that if I'm talking to students going through A-levels or university, which we get lots of requests and we try and support, mm -hmm. I will always say to them, understand what you enjoy. Okay. And that might be, I like serving customers or I don't. 
I like working in a team, or I like working on my own, I like working at home, I like to be in the office. So whatever your criteria, your shopping list is, make it as slim as you want to or as big as you want to, and then be honest when you look for that particular job or career and say, does that tick all of those boxes ideally? I think the financial sector does that. Right. I think it gives you huge variation, not that you'll always be aware of when I guess you're a customer outside. And what does a Metro Bank do to be brilliant every day, which is common, which is the theme of my show? Yeah, look, good question, and it's got it comes down to our people, right? right. Comes, we, we challenge our people to think outside the box, use their imagination, their local communities. We have something called Day to Amaze. Okay. Uh, which is where every employee of Metro Bank will be given a day every single year. We did more during COVID, mm -hmm. but a day every single year to go out and do something for the community. That might be running my son's under nine's football team on a Saturday right. where I've got 50 kids running around every week. It might right. be young enterprise where we're going into schools and helping kids run a business. Mm -hmm. It might be being a local girl guides or scouts group or whatever. Whatever it is to give back to the community, go and do it. Right. And what that does, it just keeps our colleagues aware and close to their community and says, right, that's why I'm working in this place and why I look after my customers. Okay. Got it. And uh, another thing I've noticed about uh, Metro Bank, which I've been seeing in the lo kind of local events and all this, that you, you'll open your doors for networking events for local businesses. Yeah. Tell me more. Yeah, look, we, we've got, we take great pride in our stores mm -hmm. because when we first launched Neon to today, that's our branding. That's right. what you as a customer that doesn't do anything with Metro Bank currently, when you walk past and you look in, that's your impression of Metro Bank. So our stores lend themselves very well to host events, um, whether it be networking events, whether it be the money zones where we've got 30 kids running around, big open plan, nice high ceilings, hopefully welcoming environments. Yeah. When I first worked for Metro Bank, people used to come in and say, is this a hotel and have a look around and not really know what it was. Right, okay. But it should not be a daunting experience. It should be, I'm intrigued, it's a friendly environment, let me come in. So all of our stores have loads of glass. Right, okay. So we are getting very transparent. If you and I are in here with other colleagues, with other business owners just having a glass of wine, a cup of tea, whatever it might be, people can see very clearly through the high street into the store and think, right, I'd like to be part of that and come in and inquire. They shouldn't be environments where customers are nervous to come in right, okay. because we're here for our customers, not the other way around. If they don't come in, we don't have an operation to run. Understood. And uh, what's your favourite social media platform? Oh, good question. The one I use the most, I don't post much on it. Um, what I use most socially yeah. is Instagram. Instagram. Right. Instagram, socially. I like looking, I, I've never used Facebook. Everyone looks at me, oh, yeah, you've never used Facebook. Yeah, you've never used Facebook. I registered and I, I came off about an hour later and I've never used it many, many years since. Right. I love it and I love Instagram because it gives me the ability to see, I've got a twin brother lives over in the Cotswolds that we don't see very often because right, there's okay. a distance, mm -hmm. but seeing what he's doing every weekend on Instagram is great. I've got a friend that lives in the, in the Middle East, seeing what he's doing is fantastic. So Instagram for me is a quick snapshot of photos of what people are doing. From a professional point of view, LinkedIn is, is clearly the best for me. Okay. You can connect with people, you can see what they're doing, the content is very driven, um, and so absolutely LinkedIn for me. And uh, just going back to the younger generation, do you all offer any programs uh, for them to come in and get some work experience in branch or in the main office? Yeah, so, so the Money Zone program opens up to that quite, quite right. well, really, but that's a sort of key stage two generation. Right. We do a lot of work with local careers events, so if schools, okay. colleges contact us, we did one fairly recently here in Harrow. Mm -hmm. We had a stand where people would come and ask the questions that you've asked me today. How do I get into banking? What's it like? What's mm -hmm. the reality against what I see? And we would help people make that decision. Right. Work experience to come in for a week or two is difficult because the nature of the information we have is very sensitive, as you would imagine. Yeah. And when someone comes into Metro Bank, we want to give them as much experience as they can. We can't quite do that with work experience because of the sort of protection of data that we have. Um, but there's loads of other ways we do money zone, careers days, right. things of that nature, mentoring programs, young enterprise that I mentioned are part of that. Right. What gets you out of the bed every morning? Um, my three young children, All right. my four year old particularly, he's, uh, he likes to wake up about six o'clock in the morning. Right. Um, so look, the reason I come to work is absolutely for my family, but also because I generally enjoy what I do. I go back to what I've said and apologies for repeating it numerous times. Okay. If I didn't enjoy it, I would change something about it. Sure. Uh, and I've said that for many, many years and will continue to do so because that means I love coming in to see my team here. I generally come in and enjoy speaking to my customers and say, I've managed to do this for you, do that for you. I spoke to um, a contact last night that said, Adam, can you speak to this gentleman who wants a, a business banking out quickly? 
we spoke about nine o'clock this morning. He came in at eleven o'clock this morning, signed the paperwork, and we'll have the account open for him very quickly. Right. That I love doing okay. because it's an instant world we're living in, and I think we deliver that very well. I generally enjoying, I generally enjoy surprising people and thinking, I've asked that, I didn't think you could achieve it, but you've absolutely overachieved it. Fantastic, excellent. Adam, it's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you today. Likewise. Thank you very much. Thank you, Zebeth. Thank you.